Hi, everybody. All right. My name is Courtney Bierman, and I go to Millard South High School. And this poem is called Wednesday Nights. At 10 p.m., the traffic light at the intersection of 110th and Harrison swaps its red and green for flashing yellow, flashing baby yellow, a shade much lighter than that of a standard traffic light, the color of spring daffodil buds and melted butter. I love this traffic light. Every Wednesday night last winter, I passed beneath it in my inherited Pontiac after spending the evening with my friends watching American Horror Story. We vowed to watch every episode of the third season together. Episodes ended at 10 o'clock, but we'd stay later. Laughter keeping the door shut. The honest kind. The kind that brings sore cheeks and stiff abdominals. Falling actions, oh my god, I never left without telling everybody how much I loved them. I meant it. I always will. Because I don't think they know how much they mean to me how lonely I was before I met them, or how much I hated myself for lisping through introductions and not being able to get through the day without saying something painfully awkward. But these friends didn't make me think about those things. I only thought about how I could make them laugh, how we were going to accomplish everything we said we were going to accomplish, and how quickly the night was passing while well, they brought out the best in me. The me that snorts and spits and flails. The me that can't watch Sweeney Todd without singing along, and who can't do that unless somebody sings with me. They always sing with me. When I mention my girlfriend, there are no follow-up questions. They know she's Helena Bonham Carter. They don't think it's weird that I want to take a road trip to Villisca, Iowa to see a house where eight people were axe murdered in 1912, because they've already been twice and have agreed to go a third time. These friends answer my questions about sex. These friends make me feel like I have a place in the world. These friends actually seem to like having me as their friend after more than a decade of indifferent companions. The last episode of the third season of American Horror Story aired in January to poor reviews from critics and viewers alike. We were disappointed too. We had issues with Cordelia's character development. None of us cared about the Zoe Kyle romance, and our baby Misty Day was sent to an eternal hell, but even more devastating than our dissatisfaction was the end of our Wednesday nights, where there was always a steady supply of pizza, mini donuts, and love, where the cold air falling through the open door shocked my system after being so warm, where I could pass beneath my spring daffodil bud, melted butter, flashing baby yellow traffic light, knowing I could do it again the following Wednesday night.